Okay, what we're going to look at today is the production possibilities curve with a change, and I use delta or triangle to symbolize change, a change in production of one good to the other. Movement along the curve. So anytime we have a change in production of one item to another. So what I mean by that, let's say we're going to start with item A and item B. That could be any goods, any services. And we're going to have a production possibilities curve. So say we're producing this much of item A. We're going to go over, bounce, go down, and that means we're going to be getting this much of item B. So anytime you have a y and a x axis, remember this is going to be zero, and we increase right and we decrease left. So if we wanted to produce all of item B, say we could only get 10 of those, that means we would get zero of item A. So our opportunity cost is going to be every time we make more of item B, we'd lose some of item A and vice versa. So say the most we could get would be 10 of item A, that means we would get zero of item B, but that's not what we want. Economies like to enjoy a variety of goods and services. However, there is a cost to that. So let's say we want more of item B. And we want this much right here. So if I want to increase item B, the graph will tell us if I go up and bounce off and go over, I can see that it's going to cost me some of item A. So we were producing right here at this much of item A and item B at point A on the curve. However, we decided we wanted some more of item B, so our opportunity cost is going to be we'll lose some of item A. So this is what we call a movement along the curve, and that shows how opportunity cost is done on the production possibilities curve.